The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra brings a surprising number of excellent new features to a product line that was already among the cream of the crop in smartphones. And if you're coming from a phone that is at least two years old, the S24 Ultra will feel like a super phone. Let us start by talking about Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra design and colors. All hail Titanius, the new ruler of the flagship phones. Joking aside, we have a titanium frame on the Galaxy S24 Ultra now, following in the footsteps of Apple's Pro iPhones. It's a soft touch matte, and it looks clean and stylish. Pretty cool. We don't get a lot of benefits in terms of weight. It's about the same as before since the titanium is replacing an aluminum frame from before. Unlike with the iPhone 15 Pro, where it replaced a heavy stainless steel frame, Samsung also completely removed the curvature of the screen. The soft edge design has been getting less and less prominent over the years, as it appears consumers simply prefer a flat display. And Samsung has been obliging, slowly but surely, pushing the curve closer and closer to the edge of the screen until it finally disappears. Each year, it has been getting good feedback from the community. It seems that smartphone users are generally over the futuristic look of curved glass screens. On the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the curve is so slight, it's barely there, and it's a part of the phone's bezel, so it does not cut into the display, not one bit. The frame rounds off, but has a nice flat area, and the matter titanium is just the right grain. It feels grippy and secure. Still, Rocking one of these jewels naked would be an adventurous decision. The titanium may be tough, but it'd be a good idea to shop around for some Galaxy S24 Ultra cases as well. The Galaxy S24 Ultra colors are titanium gray, black, yellow, and violet, with Samsung.com having a few extra ones, titanium green, blue, and orange. Let's talk now about the Galaxy S24 Ultra's display. So as before, we have a 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED 2 x screen, Samsung's best screen tech that has been awesome for years now. There's more brightness headroom with a peak brightness of 2,600 nits. That only matters when watching HDR content and under very bright conditions. But hey, it's there. It's still QHD plus resolution for super crisp images, and it's still an LTPO panel with variation between 1 hertz and 120 hertz. Samsung has been doing that with the Ultra models for a while now. Colors look beautiful, and you again have a choice between an amped up mode and a more natural basic mode. Plus the adaptive eye protection, which filters out blue light depending on time of day and ambient lighting. Samsung screens are easy on the eye and great to look at. We again have an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner under the glass. It's fast and accurate, and ultrasonic tech is typically better than the optic sensor that most other manufacturers use. It's supposedly more secure. But what we do know for a fact is that it can read your print better if your hand is moist or there's some smudging on your finger or on the glass. The Galaxy S24 camera has always been among the leaders of the pack. We are back to having a 200 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and then two zoom cameras a 10 megapixel zoom camera with a 3x telephoto lens and a 50 megapixel one with a 5x lens. You may have noticed the 5x camera replaced the 10x lens of yesteryear. Apparently, Samsung is using the high-res 50 megapixel sensor and some AI trickery to achieve the same or better results with it. Talking about performance, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 mobile platform for Galaxy. Again, it's like a normal Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, slightly overclocked for Samsung flagships. For what it is, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is an extremely powerful processor, no doubt one that enables the AI trickery that the S24 can do with pictures and live translations. It scores high in the benchmarks, naturally. And, more importantly, the phone feels pretty quick in daily use. Now, when editing photos with the generative AI editor, it does take its sweet time. But that's still new tech, so it's to be expected. It just shows us how long it's been since we've had a major new development on smartphones, that we are used to everything being quick and polished. The Galaxy S24 Ultra battery has the same 5,000 mAh capacity as before. It has a pretty good endurance, in fact, about the same as the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Okay, what does that say about real-life use? 
Well, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't quite a two-day phone, especially if you spend a lot of time enjoying those new AI features. But it can very comfortably last you a day and then some. If you are a more casual user, it can take it up to the second evening before requiring a charge. It also won't be pushing any charge speed limits, with wired charging at 45 watts and wireless 15 watts. Unfortunately, the phone does not come with a charger in the box. We figure that in 2024, there's a high chance that you have a power brick that's capable of delivering that optimal 45 watts over a USB-C cable. Just be warned that if you don't, you will probably get slower charging speeds. What about the Galaxy S24 Ultra audio quality and haptics? Samsung's stereo speakers have been quite good thus far. Maybe a bit midi and a bit harsher sounding at max volume. The Z Fold phones have been sounding great, which showed that the Ultra flagships still have a bit of work to do there. But spatial constraints probably play a role. The Galaxy S24 Ultra sounds fine for the YouTube video or Instagram Reels doom scrolling, sure. It's definitely well above average, but it doesn't break that smartphone speaker barrier where you'd feel comfortable sharing music over it. As far as haptics go, the S24 Ultra we feels pretty much like the S23 series. Clicky, strong, responsive. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is a very, very good phone with powerful hardware, good camera, and dependable battery. Plus, it now has that seven-year software upgrade promise, so it's really easy to recommend it, even at its high entry price. If you are still looking to save an extra buck, I wouldn't say that the Galaxy S23 Ultra is out of the picture yet. In fact, S23 Ultra owners probably can stave off the upgrade crave for now. You will miss out on some new AI features, but then again, these are only now coming in. There will be more meaningful upgrades to look forward to in the near future.